Hi, I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity, and in this video I'm going over everything on the DJI Mavic Pro controller display screen, going over what all the different icons and numbers mean, and how it can help you while flying. So first, in the top left you have the speed of the drone. This will be in either miles per hour or kilometers an hour, depending if you choose the imperial or metric unit system. This is the speed of the drone regardless of which direction it's traveling in, so if you go up, the speed will increase, and if you go down, the speed will also increase. Next we have the GPS signal strength. This is the signal strength of the drone to the satellites orbiting the Earth, which allows the drone to use the global positioning system. To the right of that we have the battery of the drone itself. You can see it's currently at 66%. Next we have the signal strength between the controller and the drone. You can see here I have all five bars, which means I have the maximum signal strength. And finally, all the way on the right we have the RPMs of the propellers. You can see if I fly up, the RPMs will increase, and if I fly down, the RPMs will decrease. The middle of the screen acts as a message center. Uh, this will display whether the controller is turning on, turning off, what mode the drone is in, and other important information like if the drone is returning to home or if there's a low battery warning. You can see my drone is currently in GPS mode, however there is also ATTI mode for when the drone has no GPS signal and is solely relying on its internal sensors for positioning information. And finally there is Opti mode which indicates the drone is using its downward facing optical sensors to measure stuff like the clearance of the drone above the ground. Next we simply have the battery percentage of the controller, and to the right of that we have what control mode the drone is in. So if you're in the P mode you'll see vision in a box. This indicates the drone is using its forward facing and downward facing sensors for obstacle avoidance. However if you switch into sport mode you can see it jumps to sport in a box all the way on the right and the vision sensors are no longer active. Next we have the exposure compensation of the image. If you were to change that you can see it goes up or it goes down depending on how you've exposed your image. To the right of that we have an SD card indicator. This is really helpful as it quickly indicates whether or not you have an SD card inserted into your drone. In the bottom left we have the clearance of the drone above the ground. If I fly lower you can see the clearance appear. This is relying on the downward facing optical sensors of the drone, so it is only active if you're within 0 to about 10 feet above the ground. In the middle we have the height of the drone. This indicates the height of the drone in comparison with the height at which it took off. So if I actually fly a little lower here, you can see the height will actually go into the negatives. That's because I took off at the top of a hill and I'm currently flying a little bit below the elevation of where I took off. You can also see little arrows indicating if the height is increasing or if the height is decreasing and the rate at which it is doing so. And finally, in the bottom right, we have the distance of the drone from its return to home point. Now, depending on your settings, the return to home point will either be where the drone took off or where you're currently standing. So if you get closer to the drone and the return to home point is where the drone took off, the distance will actually not change. However, if you set yourself or the location of the controller to be the return to home point, then you will see the distance change as you get closer to the drone. So that wraps up this video, giving you a full overview of all of the information on the display screen on the Mavic Pro controller. If you like this video, please feel free to drop it a thumbs up down below and consider subscribing for more videos like this one. I'm Stetson with Drone Genuity. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.